even though we don't fully understand how atherosclerosis develops, endothelial cell failure is thought to be an early step. This tends to occur at places where blood flow is low or disrupted, like bends and branch points in large and medium-sized arteries. Endothelial failure lets circulating monocytes stick to and move under the endothelium, and it lets lipids build up inside the cells. Inflammation follows, and macrophages made from monocytes engulf the lipids. This makes lipid-filled foam cells, which are part of an early atheromatous plaque called the fatty streak. At this time, growth factors and chemotactic factors released by endothelial cells and macrophages cause smooth muscle cells in the intima to multiply and move from the tunica media to the intima. These cells release parts of the extracellular matrix, which leads to the formation of a fibrous cap on top of the atherosclerotic plaque, where a dead core forms. Some cracks in the cap can cause the plaque to break, which is a major problem that can lead to the release of procoagulant factors and thrombosis. The vessel canal could become blocked by a clot or an embolus could form. 